Quick tip, if you invite a fat friend to a barbecue, hangout, cookout, whatever you want to call it, and you invite them to sit down and they say, no, I don't want to sit down. And then you say, no, have a seat. And then they say, no, I'm really good. I swear, I promise. And then you say, no, for real, please sit down. And then again, they say, no, I'm, I'm good. And they get a little frustrated. Maybe they just don't want to sit down. Maybe they know you didn't think about the weight limits on the chair. It just should never have to be a problem for most people to consider whether or not their friend is going to be able to... <laughs> the weight capacity on a chair is actually insane. It's probably like one of those basic white ones that you can get like at Home Goods for like 20 bucks or something like that. But the point I'm making is why should I have to be considerate about the one or two fat friends that I got? And you know what? It actually might be beneficial for you guys to stand up, given the fact that you're going to break my chair. Thank you so much for considering not breaking my chair. It's so great. But on the, on the flip side, the fact that you guys have this issue and you're sitting there like bragging about it or talking about it as if it's the other person's problem, like the, the host and, and not the attendee's problem that they can't fit into this, the chair is actually kind of crazy like how, how can you sit there and proclaim that they are in the wrong for that is it's actually insane like how fat are you that you can no longer fit in a 250 pound weight limit chair you gotta be big to be like even even considering whether or not you're gonna break that chair to be and then also i don't know why so many people do the duets and all they do is just go like this like, they just point to the guy next to them. Just repost the video. Why are you even here, dude? What is your purpose of this video, dude? Okay? I don't understand. But I guess it's just to bring awareness to the fact that certain people just need a very big, ginormous chairs. Do you know how much more money it costs for me to, like, I don't know, Google? Now, I have to now put in the time, the effort, to even find out whether or not can you fit in these chairs. And isn't it, like, a little bit, like, isn't it a little crazy to call up your friends and be like, hey, man. I got this barbecue coming up. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. How fucking fat are you, bro? Because, uh, listen, I don't think my chairs are going to be able to, like, comprehend the amount of weight that you have on your frame. Can you real quick just give me, like, a guesstimate of how big you are? I know that you don't like to weigh yourself because you think it's fat phobic to understand numerical values in terms of weight. But can you give me, like, a broad spectrum idea of where you are? Because I don't think I have chairs that are compatible with the weight structure that you have, which is crazy. You know, there's really no good way of saying that so shit. So uh, I guess it might be actually a better idea for them to stand up. Down. Maybe they know you didn't think about the weight limits on the chair. I didn't. I'm going to keep it a buck, dude. If you come over my house and you're over here talking about, damn, bro, you really didn't consider the weight limits on the chairs, leave my house. You're too big backed for, to be my friend. I know that if, left, if I left my refrigerator door open, you're going to inhale the entire content of the entire refrigerator. I'm not trying to have you be my friend. You're big. You're way too big. Maybe they've broken chairs before. That's, if you, listen. If you're sitting here and you're big and you break chairs, I got to let you know something. That's not good. I know that's kind of crazy to say, but it's not a good thing to have the ability to break chairs as a default passive ability. As like a, a, a you know, this is your character trait, like possibility of breaking chairs, 75%. Why are you putting up with that? Why the fuck is this an issue for you? You do realize that you can lose weight and not have that be a problem, right? Like, it's not supposed to be a thing to where you're sitting there wondering whether or not you're going to break chairs and possibly you have broken chairs. If you have broken chairs, that should have been your wake-up call to lose some weight. How is that not a wake-up call? How did you break chairs before and realize, no, it's not my fault. It was the chair. How is it the chair's fault? Most, all right, bro. It's just crazy. I just don't understand how these people can like run through these things and not realize that they themselves are the problem. Maybe the chair can hold them, but it's not wide enough for them. Yeah, the armrests really come down to like really big problems there. For me, I don't have a problem. You know, I got these armrests right here. Sometimes I chill with them on me. But I guess when you're very, very big back, it's actually kind of crazy for me to think about that because I have so much extra room on my chair, right? Maybe I could sit like, I could double my weight and I think I'd be comfortable. But thinking about that, if I doubled my weight, I would have to like triple or quadruple my weight for even having these problems to begin with. And the fact that these people are dealing with these problems daily, because let's be honest here for a second, it's not just simply one or two chairs. It's most chairs that are going to be a problem for you because you yourself are so massive that like normal things are not going to be accessible for you, like just in general. So 
it just seems so crazy to me how these people can look at these issues and not consider that they themselves are the problem. Rather, they always find a way to externalize the problem. It's the chair's fault. Oh man, you, my friend, didn't consider that I, a fat individual that is above 250 pounds, which is crazy, by the way, you didn't consider my big blacked ass to be able to sit into the seat, which is crazy. You know what? You should have just brought your own seat. You should have just brought one of those big, giant, like, foldable chairs you could buy off Amazon for, like, 50 bucks. You should have bought one of those. And you know what? I remember one time I was out with somebody, and there was a guy across the street from the McDonald's, and he had, like, a little yard sale that was going on, right? And I walked up to him. He was selling one of those chairs. And I asked him, I said, how much, are the, how much is a chair? Because I was thinking about maybe I could buy it. Maybe I could put it somewhere. I don't know. I have, like, uses for it. Maybe I go to the beach. Um, let's be honest. I'm not going to the beach. But you know what I'm saying. And I asked him, I said, how much is this chair? He said, yeah, 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 man, uh, uh, for you, for you, dog, I do 40, I do 45, and I was like, 45? He was like, yeah, yeah, man, 45, and I was like, that's, that's, I think that's more than the new cost of the chair, and he was like, nah, man, nah, I really got that good deal going on for you, dog, but if you don't want it, that's all right, too, and I was like, all right, bro, thanks, and I went on Amazon literally like two seconds later, and I found the exact same chair new for $35 on sale. What the fuck are you doing? You can't charge more for the chair that's literally less money on Amazon that I can get next day delivered. You're not that... Sometimes people just, they just real deal make me feel like I'm dumb, you know? Like, did you really think I was about to buy this? By the way, it had, like, cigarette stains in it. Somebody probably peed on it, which maybe would increase the cost of the chair depending on who you're talking to. But for me, I'm not trying to glaze my tongue across somebody's pee-stained chair. It's just not optimal for me. But it is, if it's for you, then it is for you. But you know what, Slay Queen Edges? Let's continue. Maybe normally it's a strong chair, but it's already weaker and lighter people can sit on it fine. And we're not trying to take that risk. Either way, just- I, It's such a crazy thing to say to be like, I'm not trying to take that risk. Like, are, are you- So let's say on the off chance it does break, what would happen then? Are you just like on the floor perpetually because it's like totally implausible for anybody to lift you up off the floor? You lifting yourself off the floor is kind of like ridiculously even to say. Uh, you know, I got to keep it a buck, okay? I bought some Star Wars toys. You might see that over there. Sometimes, right, I'll spend a good 20 minutes on my knees, okay? Not on my knees, but I'll sit on my butt and I'll Indian style crossing my legs over just looking at the toys because, I don't know, I like looking at them and they look cool, right? Um, and... Getting up off the floor is very easy for me. I can just easily, like, lift up off the floor. Sometimes I don't even need my hands, right? Obviously, because I'm so incredibly massive. I have a tripod on my, you know what I'm talking about anyway. But it seems like for these people, if they broke the chair, the process of them getting up off the floor is impractical. Like, it actually might be a problem for them to get up off the floor out of their own free will. And the embarrassment of having to ask somebody or multiple somebodies to assist them off of the floor is... Um, apparently it's it's that that value of 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 being so incredibly embarrassed is more in that's more embarrassing than losing weight i don't understand like you know it's uh, whatever and lighter people can sit on it fine and we're not trying to take that risk either way just listen to them what dude i'm not trying to inc like what do i what, what, what do you want me to do exactly like when i'm shopping for home decor in the back of my mind, I gotta be thinking about my fat friends and how so incredibly massive they are. And off the off chance they come over my house, they may need appropriate seating because they're so fucking big. So what do I do? Like, anytime I ever do anything, I just gotta buy love seats, like, all the fucking time? Is that the outcome that we're looking for here? Why don't you just... It always comes down to this. How can you sit here and try to make the claim that we have to make changes for you when you are never the person to make changes for the rest of the world? I'm not even asking for anything special here. I'm asking for you to be healthier. And then as a byproduct of that, you can fit in more chairs. <laughs> I don't know why that's such a crazy, crazy statement or like why people think that's like a, a crazy idea, but it should be the incentivization to lose weight if you're breaking chairs or no longer can fit in the weight capacity of most, most chairs because 250 pounds is apparently most chairs' capacities, which is a lot of weight. Listen, there's a privilege in just buying- Shut the fuck up, dude. I'm sorry, dude. That's, it's such a bullshit. It's such a bullshit thing to say. There's a privilege in being thin and not being able to break chairs. 
you don't say uh you know but most people are probably not even going to acknowledge that because it's such a non-privilege what it actually is you could consider it to be a privilege but the funny thing is like you also had that privilege you have just weighed yourself out of it because you wanted to eat which is fine if you want to eat that's completely fine if you want to eat so much that you become fat that's fine too but just take some accountability you can't sit there and eat as much food as you have and then gain as much weight as you have purposefully you did it yourself i mean it might not just be like you went in with the knowledge of gaining weight it's something that accrues over time but you're doing it purposefully through the process of eating enlargement amounts of foods right um you do realize that you have to take some accountability because of that right like you're literally paying the piper on that like you do realize that you can't just eat like that and there not be consequences so naturally if you're eating like that and you're breaking chairs that's just something you're gonna have to put up with and if you want to live life like that and you want to not be able to go to like family functions or getaways or whatever the fuck because you're no longer going to be able to fit in the chairs that's what it is okay you can't complain after gaining all that weight that you chose to put on and complain that somebody else didn't i don't know appropriately put seating out for you who the fuck are you? Why are you so entitled? I don't want you to be my friend if you're going to be that entitled. You are already at a cookout where you're getting free food, good company, and friends and family are all about. Now I have to buy, like, I don't know, love seats, lazy boys to accompany your ginormity? It just doesn't make sense. Like, why are you people so entitled? Why can't you just choose to lose weight? Things and, and, and going places and just having it be for you and we don't have that privilege you can lose weight and you will have that what are you fucking talking about dude you don't have to be fat you're not a fat person you're 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 a human being that is fat you understand that right you sitting there claiming that we are bad people because we have privileges of being able to walk about and go into establishments without any problems but you have these issues it's, it's actually insane to me because you're such a victim here that you don't realize you don't have to be the victim you can literally unvictimize yourself and become thinner so you don't have to worry about seating or you don't have to worry about breaking chairs which is a crazy ass thing to even have to worry about like why the fuck are you having these problems if you don't have to have these problems dude you're literally playing your life on hard mode all the time because because literally and it's just nothing but defects and you're sitting here blaming us for your problems when you decided that this is going to be your problem you can't blame us you did it to yourself I'm 400 and plus pounds. Damn, bro. That's, woo, damn. That's, that's big. That's real big, bro. Damn, bro. I'm gonna have to triple up that white chair. I'm gonna have to get a triple stack on that white chair because if you're telling me one chair can only hold the capacity of 400 pounds, sorry, 250, two chairs can hold 300, 500 pounds, but he said 400 plus pounds, so I'm gonna have to add probably an extra 100 on that. I did. I was not expecting this guy to be 400 pounds, but if he is 400 pounds, I mean, I'll give him that, dude. It's kind of crazy to be 400 pounds and sustain that. I don't know how the fuck you're able to do that. And by the way, I want to. It was very ambiguous the way he said that. 400 plus pounds. That could any. That could be 500, 600, 700 pounds. It could be anything, actually. That's like somebody. Let's like, say if you ask a girl what's your body count, she goes, "Oh, you know, more than five. What is that? What do you mean more than five? What is that, dude? It's like Marissa Matthews when she said, like, "Oh, you know, I've had sex with." 300 people, maybe 350, maybe even 400 people. I don't know. Like if that number jumps around like that, or if you end off with, I am 400 plus pounds, that is too ambiguous for me. Okay. There is not a chair in the world that is not going to have a problem with you weighing that amount. That is crazy, bro. How are you able to weigh 400 pounds and maintain that? That is crazy. How much food are you eating in a day to be able to maintain 400 plus pounds? That's crazy. And the fact that you sit there and you blaming me because I don't have chairs that can hold up 400 plus pounds is insane. What am I supposed to do, bro? When the best part of me was always you. What am I supposed to say when I'm all choked up that you're okay? I had to be done. It had to be done. And I will break your chair on purpose if you... That's... Dude, get out of my house. I'm gonna have to keep it a solid buck. If I'm, if I'm inviting you to a family getaway or a friendly occasion, dude, and I watch this video right before and you talk about some... I'm gonna break your chair purposefully because you didn't equip the chairs to be able to to be able to hold my weight up i don't want you to be my friend dude you're literally terrible that's crazy bro what you mean you'll literally break my chairs i know you'll break my chairs but to break them purposefully is crazy i'm 400 and plus pounds and i will break your chair on purpose if you ask me more than once okay Yes, I can. Do. I just don't want friends like that. You know, I just don't. You're fat, you're too big, 400 plus pounds, which is very ambiguous, and you're purposely breaking chairs to prove a point. 
crazy. Uh, just lose some weight, dude. We don't need to have these problems. Do that. This is a very serious. Can you can you do a TikTok on what's an acceptable chair? Meta. Ranking chairs as a fat woman. Sometimes I go on TikTok, right, and I find these videos, and I think, why, why, you know, there's a lot of rankings out there. Top ten ways to you know i don't know twerk top 10 ways to wear socks top 10 ways you know there are a bunch of top 10s to sit there and have like a top or a ranking a, a tier list on what chairs are acceptable for being a bigger person is kind of crazy because you don't even have to be a bigger person but all right i'm gonna be doing categories i feel that this only fair we're gonna be starting off with it kind of seems like her head is like shaped like a heart you know it kind of like comes up and out dining room chairs because i feel that this is the most controversial and one that i really am fussy about also kind of relevant since i'm eating yeah it's kind of crazy that she's ranking these chairs while she's eating which is really crazy bro like she's literally contributing to the fact that she cannot fit in chairs but all right coming in at worst place see it. these are the worst ones man you know i'm gonna keep it a buck i've sat in these chairs before these are mid these are mid-tier chairs dude like i've been in waiting rooms before in doctor's offices or dentist appointments and i've i've sat on these chairs a few times they're they're durable enough to hold me and i'm comfortable too they got some padding on them uh the worst chairs i would have to say you, you ever go to school and you know those like chairs that are made out of i don't even know what they are they're like they kind of remind me of like stone like they're made out of rocks and they're hard as fuck and it's terrible like kids will lean back on them those are one of the worst chairs dude they're not made for people these are not bad so if you're sitting these don't even have armrests so um you're literally fat you're gonna be good on this one i mean there's literally nothing but benefits but i guess maybe it's not like durable enough any kind of metal spindly legs oh it's just not durable enough damn damn man it's just not durable is the real big problem there. I'm, I'm over here thinking about the comfort. I forgot that the weight capacity was an issue, dude. I guess that would be the... Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're sitting down, you break the chair, I guess it really don't matter how big the comfort is. No. Yeah. It's no from me. It's gonna break it. One that might surprise a few, it is very aesthetic, but you will never catch me dead in this chair. Let's see it. Any kind of cane bottom. Okay. And also, this kind of like... Is it really the durability or is it just like not... Like, is it not comfortable? Because I feel like this would be more durable. Like, it looks thicker. It looks like it's a little bit more... Like, the, the structural capacity looks a little bit more in-depth, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. Like, but I'm not a 400-plus pound person. So, I guess I'm not, like... Let me know what you guys think down below about this chair, dude. I'm pretty sure that this is... A, I don't know. I probably... I, the, the backrest looks a little bit uncomfortable. But the the, the, the seat itself looks okay. Bamboo really easily snapped wood. Yeah. Oh, never mind then. I, I Damn, you gotta be big as fuck. That wood look pretty fucking durable. You over here snapping this shit? And nah. Next up, we have a similar design, but as you can see, it is a wooden. Yeah, it's like a child's chair. Like, this is what you would see in, like, your fucking, your child's kindergarten fucking class. Frame instead of a metal frame. I'm still concerned because the legs don't have enough supports. So there's one support in the back there, but the rest of them are just free fallen. I just think that we shouldn't be having these issues. Like, the fact that you're looking at chairs and judging them based off of these things is kind of crazy. Why do you have these problems, dude? Like, do you, have you ever thought about, like, this is not... How can this not be an issue for you? You're literally going, uh, I don't know if this chair going to be good for me because, like, it don't really got a lot of supports. It's made out of metal, the thinness of the thing. And I'm just looking like, yeah, that's... I mean, you know, I could probably sit in that chair. Like, I just don't have these same issues. And the fact that you're dealing with this is, uh, crazy. Like, why? You know, you're fat as fuck. I get it. But damn, dude, like, lose some fucking weight. If these are things that you're worried about... I don't know, dude. I just kind of feel like, don't you already have like a lot of things to worry about in general, like bills, bills, like buying certain products for certain people, like the time management, being able to like ad adequately disperse yourself across multiple different genres and hoping that you adequately give people enough of that. Um, and then now this, I guess, like worried about the structural capacity of a chair, whether or not the chair has enough supports for your giant big backness. I just kind of think, uh... I just don't want it to have to be a problem. I just I just kind of think that this is uh, an irrelevant issue for the, a lot of these people. I just don't, Why the fuck do you have this problem? Like, why don't you just, like, not have this problem? So minus five points for how thin and narrow that seat is. What that do would... you mean minus five points? Like, I didn't even know there was a point system. Fit one of my butt cheeks. That's... You gotta be big as fuck to sit there and say this shape won't even fit one of my butt cheeks. As you can see, next up, same kind of deal as the last one, except this one has arms. 
Stability wise, I'm a little bit more comfortable. Okay. Yes, it doesn't have support. But the armrests are going to be a deal breaker because you're not going to be able to appropriately fit all the gut. If you're telling me one butt cheek could not be appropriately sat into this, there's no way your gut's not going to be a little bit torn up over the fact that you're going to be having that shit next to that. There's just no way, right? Am I wrong? These people got a lot of belly, okay? And it's something that happens a lot with these people. So. I don't know how she could say this one is better than the other one. It, this one looks way worse, in my opinion. Sports, that's a no-no, but it does have a lot more connectors up top. The only fear I have with this one is the width of my hips. Yeah, you got too much width, dude. You're not going to be able to fit on that shit. You got too... Oh, well, I don't know. Let's be honest here for a second. It's not, it's not just the width of the hips. It's also the width of the gut. It's also the fact that you're like, you know, nine-inch belly button that's going to be protruding out. You're going to have a place to put that, pick it up, throw it on the side or something like that. It's obvious that the, like, the armrests are going to be an issue for you. It doesn't look comfortable. Side note, if you're one of my friends and you own any of these chairs, just know I won't be eating at your house. I don't want you in my house regardless if this is an issue. I don't know why this person even thinks that they're entitled enough to come over to somebody's house because oh if you don't have this if you have these chairs i'm not gonna come over that's oh that's so good matter of fact thank you i'm gonna purposely buy these chairs so you don't have to come over to my house purposely because honestly speaking i don't want you at my house you probably body slam you're literally using bread as like a a napkin and then you're probably gonna eat that shit right after so i'm gonna keep it a buck i just don't want you to be my friend you're too impractical of a person for me to even consider this to be an issue so i'm just not even gonna i'll just buy the chair as spite so that way you guys you can't just come over like think about the circumstances that you're in bro you know what i'm talking about like you're so entitled that you want somebody else to like buy purposeful chairs who are you i don't even know who you are none of my friends have any of these demands the chair coming in second is still one that I absolutely despise. How is the second place chair one that you despise, dude? What is this tier list? Isn't like, to dude, if, if you're telling me top two is still bad, what the fuck? Like, nothing is good then. I gotta keep it a buck. Top two? Two is not good? Are we serious, bro? If we have a tier list and two is not good, then you suck. But I would sit in it and tolerate it for friends. What the fuck are you talking about? You would tolerate this for friends? What are we saying right now? This isn't a good chair? Chairs that have these diggy insides. It looks comfortable. Okay. Now, we're starting off with a really good- Dude, how fucking big are these chairs supposed to be? What do you want, double this? Like, you want it double-wided? Like, what exactly are we looking for in a chair? Give me the ideal chair so we can work based off that. Because this looks like a pretty good chair for, like, mostly everybody. I guess she's literally saying that she's so fat that her butt cheeks are not going to be able to, like, properly be intaked in between this. Like, they're not going to be properly domesticated inside of these chairs. But it looks pretty wide. Like, this looks like I would have more than enough room for another person on the side. But I guess maybe I'm wrong. So maybe she just needs it to be, like, stretched out. Because she's saying that, like, one of her butt cheeks is going to be on this. I guess. I don't fucking know, bro. These are... What are these issues, bro? Frame. I mean, I'm feeling pretty confident in that frame. Not amazingly confident, but I, I'm okay with it. Um, the problem is the comfortability factor. My ass is definitely 100% sitting on those side bits. What, dude? You got... Damn, bro. Lose some weight. What are you talking about? Your butt cheeks are on the side? Your butt cheeks are not being contained inside of that? How big are you? You gotta be fat as fuck if that's the case, dude. At least 400. God damn, bro. That chair, I thought it was a good chair. That shit looks pretty good to me. Damn. The problem is the comfortability factor. My ass is definitely 100% sitting on those side bits. And this is actually not too bad of a one. I could not find a photo of one that has a larger that would fit in the frame of the TikTok video. That's, you're telling me you needed like a panorama picture of a chair that would be big enough to suit you? And you don't think that that's an issue? Like, how much bigger of a picture do you need, bro? That's big as fuck. Damn, bro. What the hell are we even talking about right now? I couldn't find a picture big enough to hold the fucking chair in place because the chair itself would be have to be so massive to, in order to fit my my butt cheeks. What? What? These problems are just so incredibly niche, bro. If you have them, you know what I mean. No, I don't. And finally, you're probably wondering what my dining room chairs are. I, I'm just surprised that number two wasn't even good. Like, that's just crazy to me. I went for a mixture of aesthetics, so I did have to... Hey, bro, what has she got in the back room? Hold finally, up. you're probably wondering what my... She got the head and shoulders back there? What the fuck is this? Is that not head and shoulders? What is this? My dining room chairs are. I went for a mixture of aesthetics, so I did have to compromise a little bit on... 
how fearful I will be of falling off. But what? I really liked how wide the actual seat. So your number one chair is not even good. Like you're literally telling me that you're, you, you're concerned that you might break it. What? How is your number one still not even good? Okay, whatever, bro. See it. Was, so let me turn you around. To me. Bro, I, I think this woman sucks at picking chairs, bro. This shit looks ass. This looks like real fucking ass, bro. This shit looks so uncomfortable. Are you fucking serious, dude? This is the chair we're going for? Why is it leaning like that? It looks like you've been sitting on this shit. This is number one? Really? Hold up, man. Can this should be number one, if I'm be if I'm be honest, okay? This should be like number two. That should be number four. This chair that she has should be like number zero, bro. This shit's fucking my bad. Not number zero. Number six. This is so bad. Is this really the optimal chair? Damn. That shit looks bad. What? There's nothing. Like, I'm supposed to sit on this for a prolonged period of time? Be the perfect size. Fits a nice comfort. Yeah, that shit's big as fuck. I can tell that you're flooding off of it, though. Your shit's on the floor on this. The ass. And I feel pretty sturdy in them. Which chairs should I rank next? You shouldn't rank any. You should lose some fucking weight. That's some crazy ass shit that you got here. You're a real deal out how you're ranking chairs based off the structural capacity of them. And you don't consider that to be an issue. And you got some head and shoulders behind you. What is wrong with you, lady? How can you not see these as problems? You guys have so many questions about- Jay Bay's always on some different shit, bro. Always, man. She always doing some crazy shit, man. I'm a big girl and my hubby and I recently started camping. Do you have a camp chair you recommend? I feel like I'm gonna break through our through ours. What the fuck is going on with people nowadays, dude? Like, you do realize that if you're camping as a fat person that you're already at a disadvantage, why? Like, I feel like some people just set themselves up for failure, right? Like, that'd be like me trying to play basketball. Like, I'm white, dude. I, you know, I don't got home field advantage or whatever. And if you think I'm racist for that, okay, I'm racist. That's what it is, right? But I literally remember when I was, like, in high school and I tried to try out for the basketball, the basketball whatever team, and I swear this actually happened, but I walked up to the coach and I was like, hey, I'm just, you know, I want to try out for the basketball. And he's like, David, you're white. And then I was like, oh, damn, you got me, bro. I forgot, you know, I really forgot, dude. Damn, dude, I don't have the passive ability of being black and being good at basketball. But that actually did happen. I just don't understand how so many of these people can sit there and have these issues, and they don't have to be issues. I mean, look at J-Bay here, dude. Like, she's literally in the middle of the fucking woods. What the fuck? What is going on here? I feel like this is a more uncommon sight than Bigfoot himself. Having J-Bay big as hell, too f How much is J-Bay? Like, 500 pounds, bro? Walking through the woods? Why? You do realize if you fall over, what is going to happen, dude? They're going to need, like, a fucking Yui. Like, one of them giant military helicopters are going to be able to airlift you. Probably have to have two of them, like, duct tape together to lift you up. Is it, like, you're going to need, like, John claude Van Damme in between them doing a, doing a split and tie ropes to him. Because there's no way that you're going to be able to lift J-Bay out of that shit. Like, what are you even doing right now, bro? It's like somebody with no arms trying to play baseball. Why? Why do you want to do that shit? I get it. You want to enjoy your life, but some things are just off limits now. You don't need to have this be a problem. Like, it's just, what, what, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I being the insensitive one? You know what I'm talking about? It's like having your license revoked. You don't drive anymore. It's all right. Catch Ubers. Why the fuck are you in the woods as a fat person? All right, man. Like, there's an order of operations, right? If you're fat, lose the weight, and then you can go. Right? Otherwise, it's going to be a problem. I mean, think about all the issues that she's going to have to deal with being big as hell. She's literally doing one right now, which is like, hey, let's check out this ginormous goddamn chair that I bought for me and my husband to sit in while we go camping. What are you guys even doing while camping? Like, just getting eaten up by mosquitoes and looking at trees and then sitting back down? Like, what are you even doing, dude? Like, there's only so many s'mores you can buy. My plus size friendly Which chairs should I rank next? You guys have so many questions about my plus size friendly chairs. One comment. <laughs> My plus size from the camping chair, so I wanted to tell you some information. These camping chairs changed the game for me and my fiance since we're both plus size and we're a 6X. Damn. These have a weight capacity of 800 pounds. God damn. Damn. 800 pounds is insane, bro. You really need all that, huh? And although these only can carry 800 pounds, there are chairs that can carry up to 1,000 on Amazon, Ooh. and they are linked in my bio. So if you're looking they, for they just shouldn't be issues like you just shouldn't have to be dealing with this if you're this big and you're literally going through amazon to find a weight capacity of over a thousand pounds for a chair why
like what is up with you man like you got some different standards you got different priorities in life man and like why are you going why are you going camping bro you weigh, how you weigh more than a tree like what are you doing right now man for plus size friendly camping chairs like in general if a fat i've seen this before i've worked with a very big woman named betty and she fell down one day and she literally physically could not get up and she was young like young as in like the spectrum of humanity she was probably like 45 46 47 at most and they had to come through with the ambulance and uh they had to pick her up off the floor and put her on a gurney and get her out of there dude because she suffered some illnesses while falling on the floor i don't know but the, the point i'm making is like she was in a uh society like she was on the floor of a store where the you know the, the the ambulance people can come through and pick her up this woman if anything happened god forbid obviously i don't want anything to happen to jay bay i think she should live a long full life whatever but if anything were to happen to her dude like what's gonna happen like what can you do in that situation you think her husband's doing shit about it fuck no that dude could barely lift himself off the fucking chair so if you're sitting here thinking that you know like oh yeah we're gonna enjoy camping you know, first of all, why? I don't know, like, what are, you, what are you fucking even doing? Why are you even doing that shit? There are probably way more things that you can do as a fat person, but go off, queen. I mean, it's just weird that you would choose this out of everything. Like, I get it. Like, you're trying to live your life, but this is kind of crazy. For recommendations in general, check out the link in my bio. Here's just a closer look at the chair. Click that. Fucking a thousand pounds, dude. You're literally, like, on some bear territory right there. A link in my bio to check out my plus size friendly recommendations. Your fat stick around because I got a sh I, I got a chair to show you. Boy, do I have a chair to show you. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you this chair. Okay, for reference, I went to a, an event on my school's campus, and these are the only chairs that were available. There were no other chairs available. The only other option was to sit on the floor. This is the chair. Okay, it's like a stool, like one of those foldable stools. Yeah, it looks uncomfortable. Like I need some back support, but I mean, what do you? Is it for a seminar or something? Yeah. This is the chair. Did you break it? I saw it my first thought. I didn't think she was too fat, but then I saw her hands and I saw all the weight. Was I'm going to break this chair. Damn. That's just like, you know, I, my first thought with this chair was it looks a little uncomfortable. But I guess yours is I'm going to break it. I just don't know why you have these problems. Like, what are you doing with your life? How can you have these issues so consistently? Can you not improve anything? Like, is there really nothing we could do? Like, I get it. Food tastes really good. Like, I get it. But there just shouldn't be this many issues. Like, I just don't I just don't get it, man. Like, why stop breaking chairs and lose weight? That should be a motto. Could we just, like, could we have that on the screen right here? Stop breaking chairs, lose weight. God damn, bro. What is, it? What is going on? I'm going to sit in it, and the little legs are just going to, whoop, break. There's no back. There's nothing. These are the only chairs they have in the whole building. For the sake of being artsy. Would you sit in this chair? Yeah. Why not, dude? I mean, if that's all they got and your legs hurt, yeah, man, what the hell are you talking about? I'm trying to preserve energy as much as I can because I do a lot of walking. So, yeah, I was sitting in chairs. I know that that's, like, impractical for you because you're big-backed and that's obviously going to impede your ability to... You know sit in chairs i guess like that but just stand up i mean i don't know what to tell you bro if this is a problem for you and you can't fit in this chair or you think you're gonna actually break the chair i mean it should be a wake-up call it really should be like you should be acknowledging that, that that you know this is not a practical thing to be thinking about but i guess you're not gonna think about it like that you're just gonna assume that it's okay and that it's actually the school's fault that they have these chairs and i guess to a certain degree they are but nobody owes you anything you're big backed for a reason like that's a very very not sustainable thing in general but hey you know what yeah i would sit in a chair i know you can't though i sat down and then they were like you can sit on the floor if you want and i just sat on the floor God. why do you need why do you need confirmation to sit on the floor though like aren't you a grown-ass woman like <laughs> fuck that when you're plus size on holiday and the chairs have arms crazy bro damn man that's just tough it's just not something I ever want to deal with, dude. I don't want to have to, like, sit in a chair and worry about whether or not my thighs are going to be beaded in because the, the, the seat, you know, they have, like, the armrests and stuff like that. And by the way, I know a lot of, like, fat people think that armrests are, like, impractical and there's, like, no reason to have them, which is, uh, you know, fucking dumb because, like, a lot of old people actually need the support to get up out of chairs and it turns out that armrests are pretty essential for those people. And... I understand that you don't like those things, but there are a lot more old people than there are fat people. And guess what? You guys are already in a privileged category by being fat. And I'm not even, look, a lot of these people like to say that they're discriminated against, but I want to say, actually, 
I believe that these people are actually some of the most privileged people on the planet, given the fact that they can even maintain the size that they are to have these problems to begin with. So you're privileged. I don't, I don't care what anybody says. You're eating double or triple what you should be eating in a day. And you're telling me that you're, you're being like discriminated against? Get the fuck off me, dude. Suck me off. That's a crazy ass thing to say. Crazy. It's it sucks, but it's also like, what am I supposed to do about it, dude? You're you're big. You're gonna have to deal with the consequences of that. Friends, it's me, Laura Burns, here to talk to you about something that comes up all the time, and it was a huge thing that came up in the big survey. BTW, if you haven't taken the survey, check out the link in our bio and take our survey because we want to know exactly what you think. So I just want to talk about how important we think chairs are. We heard. We want wide chairs. We want comfortable chairs. We want chairs that are sturdy. We want chairs without arms. We want tall chairs. We want low chairs. You're never going to appease everybody too, right? Because like, even if you breach most of this stuff, there's still going to be somebody that complains. And I understand that you're, you guys are fat people or whatever, and you guys need a lot of these things. But like, dude, it's such an impress. Like these chairs cost a lot of money. If you're trying to buy a chair that's literally double or triple reinforced for people that are so fat that they can't like they physically cannot have the armrests otherwise they're going to be like in pain and shit like that these are expensive chairs these are not normative chairs these are abnormal things so you can try your hardest to be inclusive but i feel like it's almost always going to fail because you guys are working from a very impractical level of acceptability like there's no way that you're going to be able to like appease everybody here it's ridiculous it's a thankless task too because people are never gonna like oh wow acknowledge like the fact that these chairs are built for them and like these are specially made chairs they're never gonna do it so i would just say fuck it just have them be just have them be what they are and you know if they don't fit in the chairs it, that should be a wake-up call for them we want to be comfortable my response to that is hell yeah who's paying for it though who the fuck is paying for the chairs that's what i want to know bro i you want to go ahead and set up these expensive ginormous fucking three times reinforced chairs go ahead who's paying for it not me though if you have a favorite brand of furniture that has a really high weight capacity we're looking for the most sturdy furniture cute also would be nice um, but this is where the you're really not gonna get the best of both worlds there if you're trying to get a very very structurally ginormously built fucking plus size mega built chair you're gonna have to sacrifice on the looks bro that means it's gonna be having to look like the chair from game of thrones like it, it, that's really what it comes down to on that the lack of resources come into play so that's why we're already talking about having to design custom furniture so let us know if how much money you guys have to even be thinking about shit like this you have any more ideas because we absolutely want to make this the dream utopia for all bodies. it's never gonna work bro you guys are, it's it's never gonna be a thing like you you guys can try 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 as much as you want to but i don't think you're ever gonna succeed dude there are too many fat people that need too many different things it's like clothing like these guys will complain about the most niche things ever like oh yeah um my bottom half is like five times heavier than what should be but my top half is only like three times heavier so when i wear dresses they just don't fit make dresses better it's never going to be appropriate for everybody so like when you make one chair that suits one person that's no guarantee that that chair is going to suit another person like it's just not it doesn't work like that we would love but, to hear from you good luck well first of all my urgent care office has four different size height chairs. It's not rocket science to offer accommodations. Yeah, but dude, you're asking for like a doctor's office, bro. Like these people are already being stretched thin as it is. Like why the fuck do you think that they're going to be sitting there making these ginormous chairs for fat people, bro? It's crazy. These people are so entitled. Yes. Yes. But hear me out. What if we didn't call it accommodations? What if we called it options? And this is not a criticism on this post at all. Like, yes. But can we make the switch? We're not accommodating people. People exist and live in our society and deserve to be included at every level. I think that it's a very nice sentiment to sit there and say that everybody needs to be included. At, everybody needs to be included at every level. But I feel like people just don't really believe that. Some people are just outside the norm and it would be nice for them to be included but it just might not be practical so when it comes to things like this like there might be ways to make things more acceptable for certain people but 
sometimes you're stretching a little bit too far for diminishing return. And it's like going to the gym for more than an hour. Like most of the time, you're pretty much not doing much that's going to increase the value on that. So why do why do you even bother going for that long? It's like that. Like once you start making things for fat people, how much further can we go? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like how much more can we do on other things? Like at some point, you're stretching real thin. We are providing options for the people who exist in our communities. We are not accommodating somebody who is putting us out or who needs special treatment. It's, as, as societies become fatter and fatter, I feel like this will become more accepted. But it just seems really crazy that these people don't think that it's... These people genuinely think that being four, five, six hundred pounds is just normal. And it's really sad that we've reached that level in our society nowadays where that's even a crazy, that's like a normal idea. It's, it is pretty crazy to have people that are that size. It's not normal. It's not like a good idea either to have people just casually walking around. Well, I guess at that size, you're not really walking around, but to have people at that size consistently, that's not good, dude. Like people are going to be dropping like flies, literally. So yes um I, it, it'd be great if you guys had bigger chairs in a perfect world but we just don't live in a perfect world and we just can't like cater to everybody and also the fact is that you guys have to make the decisions your fault yourself like it just seems really crazy that you would put so much of your own responsibility on somebody else or like a doctor's office or a work establishment or whatever like a school uh, why can't you just like be better suited for society? It just seems really impractical to make society better suited for you instead of like actually doing something to improve yourself as a byproduct of that. You're, be you're better able to fit into society. Like that'd be like playing a game and being upset that the game has rules. Like I understand that it sucks, but that's how it is. So, like, what do you want us to do? We can't like redesign the entire like fundamental, like the fundamental code of our society because you're fat. That line of thinking still pits people against each other, still puts people in a hierarchy, you know, normal versus special. Anyways, I'm just thinking a lot about this. Just thinking a lot about this right now. What do you guys think? I think that you're entitled and I think that you just don't realize that this is a very, very weird way of thinking about shit. It's not normal. Fuck your body count. I True. Fuck that shit. Fuck that body count. I want to know how many chairs you've broken in your life. That's, uh, damn, bro. Fuck the body count. How many chairs have you broken? That's the real, that's the real metric to, to judge how much of a slut you are. If you can break, if you've broken four chairs in your life. Slut! 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 Ho. Ho for show. Thought. Thought. Broke four chairs. Thought. Five chairs. Slut. Seven chairs. Mega ho. Uh, but anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you can do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in edges because I have an edge brush right here. And you use this for your edges. You comb them down and you, you apply glue to it to ensure that the edges are in a proper pattern for your forehead to not show as optimally as it would have if you didn't have edges. So make sure you write that down below. Edges, as you know, that is our one of our sayings here on the channel. So thank you for supporting us, you beautiful, amazing person. Thank you, anybody that's a subscriber, anybody that's a member of the channel. You guys are all amazing, spectacular, beautiful specimens of human being, including you, the person with the lubricated kneecap. I have noticed how lubricated the kneecap is today it is quite lubricated very very functional as well i enjoy watching you walk using it to the most optimal ability that you have and i also noticed that you were able to lubricate the elbow as well wow really great really great application of that lubrication that you had good job fantastic job nice dressed person your socks match thank you for being so beautiful uh, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord. All that stuff will be linked down below in the description of the channel and the description of this video. All you have to do is click the about and you'll see it all. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.